Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today, I've got a redstone tutorial for you for some item filters. The one on the left here is the regular item filter that filters out stackable items. And this one I primarily use in my storage systems to sort out items. The one on the right here, this one is a stackable and unstackable item filter. So it puts them in two different routes. These are great for things like fish farms who put out books and things that are not stackable. Also for like skeleton farms and that sort of thing that drop armor that would not be stackable. Okay. So if you go over here, you can see on the item filter, I've got this set up for diamonds. So let's throw some diamonds in here. I will also throw some iron blocks just so you can show you that the iron blocks will go a different direction than the diamonds. Okay. There's our six diamonds that filtered on through. And then right here, you have four blocks of iron that have come through fine, okay? Now, what we're going to do here is, this is, again, stackable and unstackable. So these two, uh, let's do this here. We'll do some cobble. That's a stackable item. We'll throw that in there. And then we'll throw in some more stackable items, okay? So that stuff is going on through. You can see here we got seven right there, and we got the two items here. Now, because we got seven, that's because of the fact that it's locking up in the hopper back below. That's fine because we don't really care. It's a stackable item and it'll come through. The next item will then come through and everything will work out great. So let me show you how to build these. The first filter we're going to do is the stackable item filter. Okay, so we're going to have a chest and you want to have a hopper going into that. So we're going to do that right there. Now you want to put a temporary block on top of the chest and then a hopper going into that temporary block and then you can get rid of it. That's so that the, the hopper actually points outwards. Okay, so this is going to be the hopper that we do all of our comparisons with. Okay, so then on top of this, you're going to have a, a hopper line. Let me get one out here. We're going to go out to about here, let's say. And I'm going to put in the hoppers. And they're kind of going across. Okay. And then this is like the output chest of non-stackable items or non-filtered items, I should say. And this is the input that you would have. Okay, so basically what's going to go on is you put stuff in here. It goes on across. It gets checked if it's the item that we want to filter out. And if it is, it'll drop down through here. Otherwise... It will go on through here to the output chest, okay? So that's the basic of the flow. Now we have to make the actual filter, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to put down some blocks here. You're going to put some blocks like that. That's the top part of the filter. And basically, it's going to take a comparator signal out of the hopper. And then we're going to bring that signal across, okay? Now we're going to go under here. I'm going to put a block out like this. This is the full distance you need for this comparator to get the right signal strength, okay? Now, underneath here, let's get a block under there. There we go. Underneath here, where this signal is going to be on this block, we're going to power it up over to this repeater. Okay, repeater's then powering into this block, and from there we put a redstone torch. So basically, when this uh, repeater turns on, the torch turns off, which will then unlock the hopper, okay? So there you go. That should work now to get this thing all primed up. You put in items that you don't care about or renamed items like I do sometimes. Here we go. We got some cobblestone. And now we put another item type. Let's say we were going to filter out, um, I don't know, let's say diamonds. Because, you know, why not, right? Okay. So basically, if you put those diamonds in here, they will start to drop through. You can see this is on, which has unlocked the, the torch there. And when it gets down to about 41 items, it should stop. And there we go. That means that everything is working great. And you should have some items in here right now, 22 diamonds. I'm going to use these 22 diamonds, and we're going to see about putting some stuff in here. Let's see about putting all this other junk in here and the 22 diamonds. They're going to filter through, so you should see the 22 should be back down here. And all other items should be over here. Just a couple more seconds here. Here we go. And there's all of those items that were not filtered out. And there's our 22 diamonds. So this is the basic right here. This circuit right here is the basics of this item filter. Now we're going to do the filter that filters out the unstackable items. Okay, so what you want to do here is you want to put a hopper here. Now we're going to do the same thing with the hopper line up here. So I'm going to do that really quick here. Put a block on top. Kind of space it out a little bit. Here we go. Oops. There. Okay. And now we'll put a chest on here. This is the input. And here is the output, which will be all the stackable items. Okay. That's pretty easy. Very similar to this. But you see I only have two hoppers here. There's just one there. That's fine. Okay. So now what we need is we need a slab here. Grab a smooth slab. Okay, we're going to go right off of this hopper right here. And on top of that, we're going to put a comparator. This is just checking what the item is. The strength depends on if it's a stackable or non-stackable. We'll give off a different level of strength, okay? 
Then we're going to go into here. I'm going to put a block. Okay. Now on top of that block, we want a redstone torch. We want a piece of redstone dust and another block, which can be on top of the comparator like that and a redstone torch. This is basically going to lock these things up. Okay. Now below here, we're going to do a little bit more stuff. We're going to put two more down. There's, we have a little gap there. Okay. What you want to do is go out like this and you want to have two redstone dust. This will carry the signal down and across. And then you want to have another layer down and up. Little like little like U shape here. What you want to do is you want to put a piece of redstone dust right there, and that'll lock from the other side. So there you go. That should be it. So now let's pick some items here. So if we have these items, these items are actually are all stackable. So if I put these in here, okay, they will go through. You can see that the torch is going real quick, and there's the stackable items right there. And then if you do the unstackable, like let's say you have a bunch of uh, swords. Let's grab some swords here. These are all unstackables and some armor. If they go in here, okay, there you go, and they show up over here. Isn't that fantastic? And there you have it, guys, two great filters. The one on the left side of your screen is the stackable items filter that works with overflow protection. It's a great filter. I use that one all the time. And the one on the right side of your screen, which will filter between stackable items and non-stackable items, which is very useful for things like fish farms or anything else where you get like armors like from skeleton farms, that sort of thing. So that's also a great filter to use. I sure hope these are useful to you. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Okay, guys, thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.